We've come to make certain alterations in our statement, Lieutenant. What's happened? We told you we weren't at Bard's apartment this evening. Well, we were. Nora was there when Bard died, and I was there later. Go on. I didn't tell Arthur I was going, but I went to ask Walter once more to give me a divorce. There's no use being angry with me, Nora. Take off your things and stay a while. Have a drink? It's a rainy evening. That's finished, Walter. I'm in love with Arthur Templeton. We want to get married. So you can make it legitimate, eh? You have no right to say that. You have absolutely no grounds whatsoever. Perhaps. But I'm not going to turn you loose so Templeton could put you on his income tax. Besides, this arrangement suits me fine. So long as I'm married, no woman can make a sucker out of me. But, Walter, I... Don't worry. Go into the bedroom. I'll talk with you as soon as I'm through with this party. Well, well. Come in, Miss Bradley. Did you listen? I heard a little. Walter seemed to have some papers that Miss Bradley wanted to buy, but he was holding out for more money. And then? Then there was some sort of scuffle. I don't know what happened. Then Miss Bradley demanded the papers. I got the impression she was covering Walter with a gun. Then a door slammed. Yes? I waited a few minutes, then I went in. Walter had just taken a drink. He took a step toward me. I'll never forget the way he looked. The muscles of his face were all drawn up as if they were knotted. Then he fell into a chair. When I got to him, he was dead. I was terrified. I rushed out of the place. Why didn't you call the police? I was afraid to. Did you take a drink with Bard? No. Do you remember if Bard's gun was still in the holster? I'm sure it wasn't. But I do remember seeing it there when I first went in. Then who shot Bard? I shot Todd. I went to see Bard for the same reason Nora did. I thought perhaps I could get him to change his mind about the divorce. I just pulled up to the curb opposite his apartment house. Door opened, and Nora came running out. She looked frightened.